This video covers importing your bank and general ledger data and getting started with BankRec. Let's start by creating a file from your bank data. Log on to your bank's website, download your transactions, and save them to an Excel, CSV, or tab delimited file. From the BankRec home screen, select Import Bank. I'm working with the sample account, so the name of my file is automatically displayed. If you need to find your file, use Select File to browse for it or copy and paste the data from your file using the Paste button. Next takes us to the Mapping screen. Here we map the file to identify the data in each field. Notice the data fields in the sample account are already mapped. Once you've made your mapping choices, BankRec automatically saves them. If you need to change your choices later, select the column and use the drop-down menu to map the correct field. In the sample account, we've mapped date, amount, check number, and description. Notice deposits and other transactions that increase your balance are shown as positive amounts, and that checks and other withdrawals which reduce your balance are shown as negative amounts. Next takes us to the Review Records screen. Here we can see the record count and control totals and can compare them with the totals from the Excel spreadsheet. The number of records and amount match my Excel spreadsheet, but there's an invalid row. An invalid row isn't bad, it's just not a transaction. In this case, the invalid row is their column header. BankRec filters out blank rows and other non-transactional rows so you don't have to rework or modify your import file. I select Next and Finish. The process for importing general ledger data is similar to the process for importing bank data. First, an Excel or CSV file must be created from your accounting package. Then, from the BankRec home screen, select Import General Ledger. Being in the sample account, the file name is already displayed and we continue. Again, BankRec remembers their mapping selections from earlier sessions. We've already mapped the date, amount, site, description, and check number. In this example, there is a site column. If you have multiple locations, this column can be used in the matching process. Next takes us to the Review Record screen where we can confirm the record count and control totals. If there was a discrepancy, we could cancel to stop the import. I'll select Next and Finish. If you're using QuickBooks Pro, Premier, or Enterprise, or QuickBooks Online, you can use our integration window to import your general ledger data. Ready to get started and import your data? Confirm you've migrated to SQL. If you're not sure, from the Help tab, select About. If you need to migrate to SQL, from the Settings tab, select Migrate to SQL. If you need SQL Express, you can download SQL Express from this screen. You should create your own new account in BankRec. The sample account is for testing only and is configured for use with Air Tutorial. To create your own account, select File, New Account, select Create. Then enter the name of your account, for example, Checking. When finished, you'll be switched to your new account. Decide on the first period to work with. You want to create a file with your bank transactions for that month, a file with your general ledger transactions for that month, and a file with your outstanding checklist from the prior period, if available. The outstanding checklist can be imported using Import General Ledger. Need assistance? Please contact our support department. Phone support is available even if you haven't licensed our product. See Video 2 to learn about automated and manual transaction matching.